so I finished reading the second book in the Prickle Island Zoo books. I got this as an art copy from A.K. Mulford. This comes out March 28th and I absolutely love these books. She's a keeper and easy tiger. Follow the like rom-com format. So if you like the three act rom-com format, this is definitely going to be for you. If you just want to feel warm and fuzzy, if you just want lovable characters, characters that you root for, characters that you hope like find a way out of their circumstances and situations that are like real life stuff that people deal with but they end up finding a way around it then these are going to be the books for you because they are very like fuzzy and they make you feel very warm but then you every once in a while have to deal with like real life problems but you know that they're gonna like fix them and they're gonna solve all of them the first and the second one were very easy to read this is book two book one and two are very easy to read book one was um, Lark and Logan, which was one love interest. And this is Lark's brother, Hawk, right here. My baby daddy. He's just a big teddy bear. And he ends up falling for this girl right here, Hannah. What is the book about? So basically, Hannah is given this, like, task to take down the zoo. She has to find some dirt on the zoo, and she has to write an article about it in order to, like, take it down. She goes undercover, and then she slowly starts to get to know this teddy bear right here. This one right here. And I think you guys can kind of figure out where this goes. And I'm gonna pretend like I'm Hannah right now, because Hawk hawk is everything he is the teddy bear you need in your life he is the bear you need in your life i have so much fun reading these and i can't wait for the next one because the next one's gonna be the sapphic one and that's gonna be the one with the lesbian sister with finch so i'm super excited to read that I can't wait to get my art copy because I absolutely love this book. And I can't wait to get my special edition because I bought my special edition and it's supposed to be coming anytime soon. And I'm going to be filming a video of the special edition of this book. And I'm completely leaving those books alone. I bought a special edition of She's a Keeper and it has the colorful interior. And I left that alone on my bookshelf. It's my shelf trophy. And then I bought a special edition of Easy Tiger and I'm leaving that alone because it has like colorful artwork and it's it's they're super cute. I hope you enjoy these books. I hope you read them. I hope you pick them up because they are absolutely cute. If you're just looking for a good time, if you're just looking for something to pass the time, then these are the books for you. I feel like A.K. Mulford writes a lot of books that are very easy to read. Even her fantasy stuff, I'm like, I didn't have that that much of an issue reading it. It was very quick. It was very easy to, like, just get from one place to another. Like, no bullshit kind of books. You know what I mean? Because some of these books really be, like, wasting your time a little. A.K. Mulford's books are kind of like, look, here's the story. Here are the characters. They're kind of lovable. No bullshit. Let's get to the point. Let's get this story through and over with. But by the time you're at the end, you're like, wait, I don't want this to end. Like right now, I think I spent three days reading 30 pages, the last 30 pages of this book, because I did not want this book to end. I read the first 300 or I don't know how many it was, but the first like 300, 400, I don't know. But the first couple hundred pages, I read them so quickly. And the last 30 pages of this book, I waited for so long. I was like, no, I can't, I can't have this end. I cannot have this end. The next book doesn't come out till like June. So did I regret finishing these? This one specifically, yes, but I was also arc reading it, so I had to, like, finish it. But it wasn't feeling like I was forced or anything. It felt like I don't want it to end because I love it so much, you know what I mean?